Hey, what's up guys, the Baldi Combinator Data here, bringing you guys another bombastic Call of Duty Ghosts video. Now, I'll say this quick. You might have heard of my friend Premier Bankshot, the former iPhone Bankshot. Well, we've made collaborations with him in the past, and at the moment he's like one of the best friends I have on YouTube. And we've been friends with him like, um, like forever, and Bankshot has set a goal for himself to get to 2000 subscribers by his birthday. And his birthday is actually coming real soon. And at the moment he's like at 1600 subs. So I want you guys to go to his channel and help him reach the goal. It would actually mean a world to me if you could help my friend out. And I'll leave his link down below in the description. But anyway, let's just move on to the topic. Now to make this clear, this gameplay was recorded before Field of View Changer was added to Call of Duty Ghosts. So don't complain about me complaining about Call of Duty Ghosts not having a Field of View Changer and then eventually when it's added to the game not using it. So this gameplay was recorded before Field of View Changer was added to COD Ghosts so I didn't use it but I still managed to get a Chem Strike and I can't really say this was my first Chem Strike because I got another one I guess the first day when the game was released I didn't record it though so that's why it's not on my channel but uh, this game strike wasn't actually that 24 kill streak or gun streak or uh, like whatever streak. This was actually a game strike from a, from a care package. But this gameplay was actually pretty good. I was able to go on a pretty high streak. I don't remember how exactly how much exactly it was. 12, 15, or 18 gun streak or something like that. I was close to the game strike even though I didn't get it. But uh, after I died, like, oh, I don't remember whether it was after, like, I died or not, but I somehow managed to get that care package, and eventually I wasn't bitching at all after my death. But uh, I got a chem strike from a care package, which is pretty cool. I mean, it was, I don't know if the game kind of rewarded me for that high streak or it was completely random. I believe the system is random because, well, it's Call of Duty Ghosts. No good players are rewarded in this game. It's absolutely random. It's Call of Duty, man. But, uh, it was a pretty good gameplay and it was one of a few games that I actually enjoyed playing in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I was able to do pretty good. I got all of my kill streaks. By the way, I think I gotta change my kill streaks a little bit because these ones just aren't working all that well for me. I mean, the dog is okay. Uh, the Satcom or whatever it's called in this game. I mean, it's okay as well, but UAV is definitely better. And the Juggernaut, the Juggernaut like maniac type thing where you just run around with the knife and shit. I mean, it's not too good. I mean, it's good against stupid enemies, but against some normal people, it's not all that useful. And it doesn't work out so well. But still, I enjoyed this game. One of the few games that I actually enjoyed. And uh, I was happy to play it. I literally had a pretty good experience while I was playing this game. Even though when I was playing it, there was still no field of view changer. Which sucks. Absolutely. And as you can see, this is a game of domination. Well, obviously, duh, it's a game of domination. And uh, at the moment I'm actually just saying some random things because I ran out of things to say about the gameplay. And I know a lot of you guys are actually pretty sick about me talking about Call of Duty Ghosts, my experience with Ghosts, because it's not too good. The game used to lag for me. It still lags from time to time. But uh, the game doesn't lag that much anymore. And it has a field of view changer right now. And the gameplay of Call of Duty Ghosts is actually pretty good. I like it more than Modern Warfare 3 definitely. And my experience with Ghosts has changed quite a bit in the past few weeks. Just because of what I mentioned earlier and I mentioned like 100 times in this video just because of the field of view changer. And just because the game doesn't lag. Those are the two factors why Call of Duty Ghosts has become a pretty enjoyable game for me. Of course it's still frustrating. Every Call of Duty game besides Black Ops and Call of Duty 4 is frustrating. Because they're pretty unbalanced. Now, Ghost isn't that unbalanced, but it still has some problems in there. But uh, the game itself is actually okay when it doesn't have problems on PC. And uh, you might be seeing more Call of Duty Ghost videos in the future. Because uh, the game doesn't like for me that much anymore. And it has a field of view changer. 
so I might be making more Call of Duty Ghosts videos just because I am actually able to play the game. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was, I believe, my, I believe my second camp strike in my Call of Duty Ghosts like playing career, like 30 hours, like I've played it for like 30 hours only. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in particular because I played pretty hard. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been the Baldi Commentator. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know do you still have problems with Call of Duty Ghosts on PC? I'll see you all later. Peace.